okay, I was raised within the Christian religion. And I'm proud of my religion and my heritage. Leading back to being a Christian and you know, where it came from. I was raised in church. You know, I came from a broken home. Church was a great place to be. And, you know, I'm learning as I get older that my relationship with God is the only matter between me and Him. And, you know, it's between me and God. It's not between what somebody else thinks. My relationship with Him is based on me and Him, not based on you. It's based on me and Him. I was raised to believe in black and white, right and wrong. And, you know, I'm glad I do believe that. I believe that God has rewarded me from seeing what's right and wrong and knowing right from wrong. You know, I try to do everything I can do as right as I can. But it's hard to do in a society that has been tampered with hate, violence, judgments of others, and a society that celebrates sin. You know, it's hard to be in a world like that because sin, sin, plain and simple. You know, in church, we are taught to love the sinners, but not to love their sins. You know, even God, if you're a sinner, you know, you go by the word of the Bible. And, you know, we can love the sinners, but we don't have to love their sins. And that's what we're taught. But people who overcome anything that they've been given in life, obstacles, you know, I was making a list earlier today of accomplishments, of goals I had back in high school, and I was comparing it to the goals I have now. And I looked down and I realized that over 100% of my goals were, you know, dreamed up of, and I was thinking back to my childhood, what my goals were. You know, one of my biggest goals was to graduate high school, like my sisters. And I wanted to graduate with scholarships, which I did. And then I look back and I think about everything that led me to that point. Because when I was very young, when I was, you know, two, I was told that I wouldn't live to be 12. And if I did, I'd be institutionalized for the rest of my life. But I look at my life today and what I've accomplished, what I continue to accomplish every day, going to work, coming home, taking care of my dad, being able to be there for him when he needs me. I think of that as an accomplishment because, you know, by doctor standards, I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be the person who I am today. But God had other ideals. God's the one who calls the shots. He's the one who has the power to call us home at any time. And, yes, there is, you know, Christians do have pain and grief, and we do suffer, but God, through it all, makes it better. He realizes that, you know, He shows us a light at the end of the tunnel that, you know, we're going to get there. It's just going to take some time. And, you know, I've been thinking about all the death in my family. You know, I lost my uncle. Then I lost my grandmother. Then I lost my aunt. And then I lost my grandfather. All within a five-year span. 
And, you know, I think about them today, and I think about what they've taught me over the years. And I'm grateful to have them in my life. I had to have had them in my life. And, you know, it was a dark time for a long time in our family because of all the death. But I know that if I continue to do right and continue to do what God wants me to do, that I will get to see them again in heaven and walk streets of gold and live in a mansion. Because my treasures aren't here. My treasures are in heaven, and that is what I strive for. I know I'm not perfect. I know I'll never be perfect because I'm human. Because I live in a corrupt world in a body that is consumed by sin. But I don't have to live in it. I can look over at myself and realize what I'm doing is wrong. And, you know, I know when I'm doing wrong and when I'm doing right. I always have. From a very young age. You know, my life has never been easy. But that's okay. Because life isn't supposed to be easy. Myself, I'm grateful for everything I do have. I may not have a lot, but I have good family, good friends, good sisters, good brothers. You know, I couldn't ask for anything better. You know, I get to get out and affect other people's lives. Because, you know, when you touch a person's life, just by walking up to them and saying, hello, how are you doing? Are you doing all right today? You know, that affects their life because it shows that somebody cares. And for many of the people who I see, you know, on a daily basis at work, you know, all of them are like, honey, you're always so sweet. She, you know, I had this woman look at me the one day, she goes, you know, she goes, no matter what I go through, I like to come in here and see you and talk to you because you make me feel better about myself. She goes, you, you didn't know me, but you've gotten to know me since I've been coming here. And I've always been, you know, I've always thought about it. The more people you know, the more people you affect in your life. You know, it's like... A stone on a pond. You know, you throw that stone into the pond and you skip that stone. You know, it makes waves, right? So, by you affecting one person's life, you may affect a lot more. And my goal has always been to get to know people. You know, and working out in the public and the community... I have, and I've seen so many good things, and I hope I continue to do so. But God, you know, He will show me the right way to go. I don't need that from a peer or someone who isn't in our religion, because to truly be in our religion is to love everybody. But, you know, God has a reason for not wanting people, some people in our lives. And I understand why. And for that, you know, I'm grateful that He does that. I can still love them, but I don't want them in my life. It's the way, you know, things work out. But I'm just glad that I'm here today. I'm glad that I could not be more grateful for my blessings and the blessings that's bestowed upon me by God with His knowledge, with His knowledge of the book He left behind for us. You know, 
to love your friends, your family, that counts more to me than anything. To affect my community means so much to me. I'm just glad that I'm myself who I am. And I'm glad to be the person I am today. And I can't express how grateful I am for God's blessings in so, so many ways. God lets me know when I'm doing right. Because He shows me. He blesses me. But if you're not getting blessings left, right, and center, you know, I have in the past several months. I have gotten more blessings bestowed upon me than I can count. And it's not just about one thing. It's about many. But I want to take this time to thank God and thank everybody in my life. And, you know, I know I'm probably going to post this on YouTube, which I usually do say that in a video 90% of the time. But, you know, I don't care what people think of this video. Because it's not about them. It's about me and God. And I'm just telling you what Christianity, being a Christian, has gotten me. And it's a lot. I couldn't be more thankful for it. So, with that being said, you know... If there's any negative comments, I'm going to ignore them because the simple fact is, it's not about what they think. It's not important what they think about my relationship with God. It's about, you know, it's about me and Him. They don't have a part in the equation. So, that being said, I'm going to sign off and see you later. <laughs> Bye.